No. But Baraka. Baraka. All right. Means to bless. To bless. So this has nothing to do with this. So that sometimes it can be like that. So the verb, but basically the verb is always related to the root. Okay, but in other some cases you may find it has nothing to do with the root meaning. All right, and those are exceptional cases. All right. Um, so we said in the Quran we have, for example, examples. سَنَنْظُرِ لَا بَعْضِ الْأَمْثِلَةِ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ الْكَرِيمِ مِنْ هَذَا النَّوْعِ مِنَ الْفِعْلِ فَعِنْدَنَا مَثَلًا جَا هَدَى جَا هَدَى means to strive جَا هَدَى means to strive or to struggle right سَنَنْظُرْ إِلَى بَعْضِ الْأَمْثِلَةِ We would look at some examples فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْكَرِيمِ مِنْ هَذَا الْفِعْلِ أَوْ عَنْ هَذَا الْفِعْلِ About this verb جَاهَدَ موجود وَمَنْ جَاهَدَ فَإِنَّمَا يُجَاهِدُ لِنَفْسِ وَمَنْ جَاهَدَ فَإِنَّمَا يُجَاهِدُ لِنَفْسِ So we have, for example, in Surah Al-Ankabut وَمَنْ جَاهَدَ فَإِنَّمَا يُجَاهِدُ لِنَفْسِهِ Right? Surah 20 Nine, ayah number six. Wa man jahada. So we have jahada. Wa man and who strives or struggle. Fa innama, for verily he strives, all right, for himself. All right, like you're struggling. Who are you struggling for? You're struggling for yourself, right? So we have the perfect tense. هنا في الماضي وهنا المضارع يجاهد. So we could look at the conjugation of the verb first. ننظر إلى تصريف الفعل أولا ثم ننظر إلى أمثلة. So we have we should have done this one first. So we have الماضي which means the perfect tense. And then we have al mudari right? Imperfect tense. And then we have Al-Amr, the command. Then we have Ism, Al-Fa'il, And we have Ism Al Al Maf'ul We also have Al Masdar which is supposed to write here Al Masdar Al Masdar Al Masdar means What's the meaning of al-masdar? And you have other derivatives here. Al-masdar means the verbal noun. All right? The verbal noun. So, al-madi, the perfect tense. Al-mudari, the imperfect tense. Al-amru, the command or the imperative form. That's the grammatical term, the imperative. Ismul fa'il, the active participle. 
اسم المفعول the passive participle المصدر the verbal noun so we have the verb here jahada and we want to get all of them all right so we would look at we would look at the pattern basically so we have fa'ala fa'ala goes here fa'ala the al mudari yufa'ilu yufa'ilu you fa'ilu okay and then here is fa il sukun ismu al fa'il can you remember how do you get the active participle hal tazkurun ha hal tazkurun do you remember kayfa nukawwin ismu al fa'il how do we form the ismu al fa'il the active participle ha Mu. No, the verb is fa'ala. Fa'ala. Mu fa'ilun. So we add a meme with the dhamma. That's that's the rule. Add a meme to add a meme with the dhamma as a prefix. Fi muqaddimat al fi'l. So a meme. All right. With a dhamma. Right back. Write back, write back the whole thing, you know. Okay? And the second to last letter takes a kesra. Okay? And because it is ism, it is a noun, it will have tanween. So it is what? Mufa'ilun. Mufa'ilun. Good? And the ismul maf'ul is the same thing with one slight difference. What is it? What, what, what do we change? Is this we have to look at this? Use this as the pattern and change. Make one change. Huh? Huh? Right. No غير ال كسرة إلى فتحة. So it becomes mu fa al mu fa al. Right? Mu fa il كسرة هنا هنا فتحة. Mufa'al. Okay. Al Mosdar. Mufa'ala. Mufa'ala. We have put a ta here. Mufa'ala and Fi'al. It has two. Two verbal nouns, two different ways of making the verbal noun. Okay? So that is our pattern, that is our scale. We take a verb that looks like it and we do the same thing to get whatever we want. Now, each one of them, we have the whole conjugation. The 14 different conjugation for this, also 14, and here, Al Amr only with second person, right? Second person only, not first person, not third person. You could only command the person who is in front of you. You do not command yourself, first person. You cannot command someone who is absent. Only the person in front of you, which is the second person, all right? And here, mufa'il, because it is a noun, you could have the dual form, or you could have plural. You can also make this feminine by adding tamar buta, right? Adding tamar buta makes it feminine, okay? And then you could make it dual, and you can also make it plural. So mufa'il, if we want to make mufa'il plural, um, dual, Mufa'ilani. Mufa'ilani. Okay? And if you want to make it plural, that's three and more. Mufa'iluna. Mufa'iluna. Alright? And the same thing for this one goes the same thing. You could have the dual and you can have plural, you could have masculine, you could have feminine. 
and this is al mustar. Okay? So here is our verb now. Jahada. All right? So using this as our pattern. Jahada. Here we will have what? Right. You ja he okay so we have seen it here you ja he do good here will be what huh ja hid all right and here muja muja hid plural Mujahidun. Now you know how you get the word Mujahidun now. Right? From Mujahid. Mujahidun. Okay? Mujah. Ha. Mujah. Had. Mujahid. And here is Mujahad. So Mujahad are the ones who you struggle with. I am the struggler here. I am struggling. Mujahid, I am the one struggling. And Mujahad is the one you're struggling with or the thing that you're struggling with. All right? And here will be what? Tell me. Mujah, Mujahada, or... Hmm? Jihad. All right, we had to learn some of the khat. So from the Quran, we have seen so far the perfect tense and the imperfect tense. All right? Um, Surah 29. Gives, gave us two examples, perfect tense and imperfect tense, in one ayah. All right? <clears throat> you have in the same surah, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا All right? So we have Walladina Ja Hadu Fina La Nah Di Yan Na Hom La Nah Di Yan Na Hom Subulana. All right. So subu. So walavina jahadu. So that's plural. All right. The plural from jahada. The conjugation. So we have jahada, and you have if it is two, it will be jahada. And if it is plural, it will be jahadu. All right, so we have walladhina jahadu fina lanahdiyannahum subulana. Surah 29, Surah Al-Ankabut, and it is ayah 69. So it's 29, 69. So the translation of this, and those who struggle, struggle, fina, Fina, with us, in us, for us, lanahdiyannahum. We will surely guide them. So lanahdiyannahum, there are lots of things here in this word. All right? So you have, you have the verb, the root, the root word is hada, is like this. Hada, the present tense, yahdi. All right? So yahdi. 
right? Yahdi. And then you have something that is called a noon with a shadda. All right? That noon with a shadda is an emphasis. All right? It emphasizes the, the verb. Um, that is something we didn't do as yet in the class. But it is mentioned a lot in the Quran, and it is an emphatic noon it is called. For example, in Surah Humaza, right? La yumbadhanna fil hutama. They will be pelted or thrown with force in the fire. All right? So, la nahdi yannahum, we will surely guide them. And this lamb here is called lamul qasam. Lamul qasam emphasizes a statement. All right? Inna al insana la. La fi khusr. So you have the word fi, which we already know means in, but la fi khusr is surely, right, in a state of loss. It emphasizes the statement. So that is called lam ul qasam. All right? So this here, this lam here, is extra from the verb. All right? And this noon. Is called noon tawkida thaqila. The emphatic noon. All right? And this is the object of the sentence. All right? Hum, object. All right? So look here, nahdi. All right? So yahdi and we will be nahdi. Yahdi is he and we will be nahdi. Referring to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he uses the plural form to show greatness, all right? Subulana, like sabil, like, you know, sabilillah. Sabil, plural is subul. Subulana, our way, all right? Ways, all right? La nahdi yannahum subulana. Wa inna Allah la ma'al muhsin. That's the ayah, the last ayah of Surah al ankabut All right, so we have seen here in this ayah, the perfect tense conjugation in the plural form. All right? In the plural form. Jahadu. Good? So we have, we have seen jahada in the singular form. And in the same ayah, we have seen it in the imperfect tense. And in this ayah, we're seeing it in perfect tense again, but plural. Jahadu. Good? So that's the second example. And the third example is Surah 5, Ayah 54. They're writing the whole ayah, but you have you, ja, you, ja. Hiduna. Yujahiduna. Fi sabilila. Fi sabil. Lilla. Five fifty four. Surah five, ayah fifty four. So we have Yujahiduna. Plural. From Yujahidu and Yujahidun is plural. So they're all struggling fi sabilillah in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So if you want the full meaning, you go back to the ayah, inshallah, and you read it in your own. And you, well, you know, the point of reference of the ayah is basically to point out the plural form in the imperfect tense conjugation. All right? So that's the third example. And the fourth example, now we look at. The imperative, the command. All right, the imperative. What is the imperative of jahada? Huh? Jahid. Allah says, wa jahid. Wa jahid hum. Wajahid hum. 
به جهادا كبيرا alright وجاهدهم به جهادا كبيرا سورة سورة الأن سورة الأنكبوت لا not أنكبوت سورة الفرقان سورة 25 which is سورة الفرقان وجاهدهم به what did I tell you جهادا كبيرا so جاهد هم here is imperative the imperative all right وجاهد هم so what جاهد هم mean now جاهد is the command جاهد هم struggle against them that means fight them be he with it jihadan which is the master and kabira right well so go back to surah 25 and it is ayat 52 25 52 let's get the quran and see the translator, how he translated it. 25. <sighs> 52. Therefore, listen not to the unbelievers, but strive against them with the us with the utmost strenuousness with the Quran. Alright? So struggle against the disbelievers. Be he with the Quran, it says here. Alright? With the Quran. Alright? Fifty two. kafirin. So do not obey. The kuffar, the disbelievers, wajahiduhum bihi, and strive against them, strive against them with it, with the Quran. Right? With great strength. Right? Strive against them with the utmost strenuousness or with great strength. Alright? So, that is the imperative of jahid. All right. Now let's look at the command now in the plural form. Here we can change this part. Wajahidu. Fillahi. All right. Hakka jihadi. All right. Wajahidu fillahi. Hakka jihadi. This is also the last ayah of Surah Al Nur. Surah Al Hajj. Sorry, Surah Al-Hajj, not 20th, not Surah Al-Nur, Surah Al-Hajj. Huwa sammakum al-Muslimina min qabl wa fi hadha, right? Liyakun al-Rasul shahidan alaykum wa takunu shuhada ala nas. So you have the last part of the ayah, it says what? Wa jahidu fillahi haqqa jihadi huwa jhtabakum. He has chosen you. All right, so Surah 22, Surah Al-Hajj, Ayah 78. So we have Jahidu, Al-Amr, the imperative, Jahid, and plural, you're speaking to Allah, Allah is talking to all, all right, the plural. Wa Jahidu. So we have the command, all right?
So that's the fixed fifth example. And then we can look also at another derivative of the same word, jahada, and that is the ismul fa'il. Ismul fa'il. The ismul fa'il, we can look at um, Surah 4, Ayah 95. Faddalallahu al mujahideena. All right, so we have Faddalallahu al mujahideena. Faddalallahu al mujahideena. Bi am wa. Lihim wa an fu si him. All right. Al al qaidina daraja. Uh, we could write it in. Sorry. Al 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 qaidina. Daraja. What did I say? What is the reference to the four ayah? Huh? So the four ayah ninety five. So for dollar to prefer to prefer for dollar law who so alpha L is Allah. Allah has preferred, all right? He give preference to al-mujahideen, those who struggle. So it's a plural of ismul fa'il here, all right? Mujahid is one. Mujahidun is plural. But mujahideen, the wow changed to a ya because it is? It is maf'ulun bihi, all right? It is the object in the sentence. So that's why it is Mujahideen. Alright? So Allah has prefer, uh, preferred the Mujahideen bi amwalihim. You all know this word? Bi amwalihim? Right. So we have the ba, which is a preposition. And this pronoun, which is attached to the word hum. Right? There. And amwal is the plural of mal. Amwal is the plural of mal. So, with their wealth. So you have people who are mujahidun, who are striving, but with their wealth. Alright? People who are striving with their, with their wealth. Wa an him and themselves. With themselves. Alright? Al al Daraja. Over those who are qa'idin. Qa'idin from the word qa'ada. Can you know? Do you know the meaning of the word qa'ada? Anybody knows the meaning of the word qa'ada? Huh? Ah, look. Qa'ada al mudarris. What that means? Jalasa. Alright, so qa'ada is synonymous to jalasa. Alright? Qa'ada, a person who is a retire, retired person is called mutaqa'id. Mutaqa'id. Okay, he's sitting down all the time here, walking again. He's not working again. Alright? So he's called mutaqa'id. Mutaqa'id. Alright? So if I were to tell you, Ana mutaqa'id. Huh? Walastu qa'idan. If I were to tell you, Ana mutaqa'id walakinni lastu qa'idan, what that means? I am retired, but I am not sitting. Alright? Walastu qa'idan. Alright? Ana mutaqa'id walastu qa'idan. 
Right, so, so we have people who are struggling with their wealth and themselves, and you have people who are also mujahideen, right, mujahideen, but not with their wealth and themselves. So who is the better person? The one who struggles with his wealth and himself. This is why Allah is telling us, Allah has preferred the mujahideen who struggle, right, with their wealth and themselves over those who are still mujahideen but they are sitting. And how, how much are they better? Daraja. By a degree. By a degree. All right? By a degree. So we have seen from six different examples. Ra'ayna fi sittata amthila hadha al-fi'il jahada ra'ayna tasrifahu fi al-mudari' wa fi al-mufrad wa fi al-jam' wa ra'ayna al-amr we have seen also the imperative in the singular form wa kathalika fi al-jam' wa ra'ayna ismu al-fa'il mujahid fi al-mufrad wa kathalik fi al-jam' wa ra'ayna kathalik al-masdar so we have seen examples of all different derivatives of the verb jahada okay the same thing as you have seen from the verb jahada you can also take that as a pattern for the other verbs that resemble jahada all right so you know the word mubarak like when we say eid mubarak from the verb baraka so baraka yubariku all right and so ba like, let's let's follow this so yeah ba roka yubariku here will be barik sometimes people buy a new car and they bring in the car by me to to bless it i don't have that kind of power to bless people's car and bless the house only allah could do that I don't know why some imams, uh, they agreed to do that. You don't want to bless nobody, car and thing. You don't have that power to do that. You could make a dua, all right? And ask Allah SWT, let the owner do it, all right? But don't feel that we are like people of other religions, you know, like people in other, like other faith, Hindus and Christians, when they buy a car, they go by the priest and they fund it to, bl to bless it, all right? We don't operate like that. We don't have that kind of power. Ask Allah to bless it and bless you and bless the car and so on. All right. So we have, bar, we are talking about baraka. So we have barik, command, bless. This, mubarik, mubarik. And here is mubarak. So Eid mubarak, blessed, passive participle, ismul maf'ul. All right. Who will be mubarik? The one who blesses, who is that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All right? So, Mubarak. And then you have Mubaraka. All right? Mubaraka. And so on. So, from all of the verbs that resemble Jahada, you can have the same. All right? So, we are finished with Fa'ala. Now, we're going to read Al-Ansa Naqra. من هذا الكتاب العربية بين يديك السكن السكن ها السكن سكن means سكن is the place of staying it means where you live all right a second. So a second. You see, the man have a house here. Look. <laughs> it means a place where you are sakin. It's a place where you are stagnant. You're stationary. So that is the place where you live. All right? So if I somebody were to ask you, Aina Sakan. Where is the place where you're stagnant and stationary, meaning where you live technically? All right? 
So that's why when you say Aina Taskun from the verb Sakana Yaskunu, Anta will be Taskunu. Aina Taskun. Where do you stay? All right, where do you stay put? All right, where you for brother, like for brother Shakir now, he would say it's Sayara. <laughs> he spends more time in his car than at home, always on the road driving. <laughs> Now, okay, istami'u, listen, I'm going to read, and as aqra alaykum, how will you antafhamu? Try to understand, all right? See how much you could understand. Assalamu alaykum, wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullah. Aina taskun? Askunu fi hayyil matar. Fi hay al matar. في حي في حي المطار because because of في you have to change it the case all right أسكن في حي المطار vicinity basically حي means a vicinity or a location في حي المطار would mean around the airport close to the airport in the vicinity of the airport all right okay أسكن في حي المطار Alright? Naam. Aina taskunu wa aina taskunu ant. Wa aina taskunu ant. Askunu fi hayil jamia. Hal taskunu fi bait. Hal taskunu fi bait. What that means? Do you live in a house? What else you could live? Where else you could live? You could live in a shack. <laughs> you could live in an apartment. You could live in your vehicle. They have people living in their vehicles. There was a man from San, from San Fernando side. He used to come here regularly. I asked him, where, where does he live? He said, Sheikh, I, I live in my car. In your car? Yeah. I have no place to live. I live in my car. Okay. Okay. هل تسكن في بيت؟ Do you live in a house? نعم، أسكن في بيت. وهل تسكن في بيت؟ And do you live in a house? لا، أسكن في شقة. أسكن في شقة. What that means? I live in in an apartment. In an apartment. ما رقم شقتك؟ ما رقم رقم number شقتك right what is your apartment number خمسة وما رقم بيتك what is your house number alright تسعة تسعة alright so that's the end of that conversation next conversation محادثة أخرى or حوار محادثة means when two people speaking alright so محادثة does that strike a bell, a bell anywhere there محادثة where is it المصدر محادثة with a tamar buta so you're doing something with someone else so it is so tell me what is the perfect tense verb now. If you have muhadatha, you should be able to rewind it to get back here. Huh? Hadatha. Right? So you have muhadatha. Alright? Or another word for muhadatha is hiwar. Hiwar. Alright? So hiwar is a dialogue. So you have dialogue with this with two, but monologue is only one. All right? So it is also called a dialogue. All right? Now, al mustajir. Take it for now. It means the, the one who is renting, going to rent something, right? He is the one actually who is going to seek a place to rent. Mustajir. All right? One who is seeking a place to rent, like a tenant. Now, 
Assalamu alaikum. An al muajir is the one who is going to rent. Muajir. Wa alaikum assalam. Uridu shakkatan min fadlik. Uridu shakkatan min fadlik. Ladaina shakkatun jamila. Tell me, translate. Ladaina. We have shakka jamila. Naam. Tayyib. Kam gurfatan fi shakka? How many rooms in the apartment? Fi shakka ti khamsu gurf. Khams. Notice. Khamsu gurf. Khamsu gurf. Because the word gurfa is feminine. So the number has to be masculine. All right? في الشقة خمس غرف في أي دور الشقة في أي دور الشقة which floor or what level نعم الشقة في الدور الخامس نعم في floor أريد مشاهدة أريد مشاهدة الشقة I want to see. So, Mushahada. Hmm. Mushahada. Where is that? Where is Mushahada here? Al Masdar. Mushahada. From what verb? Bring it back here. Shahada. Okay. Shahada. Imperfect tense. You shahidu. I want to see. Or I am seeing. Okay, I want. Uridu. Uridu. An ushahid. All right? Or so he said, Uridu mushahada. I want the seeing of. It may mean I want to see. All right? Ashaka. So you have. Yushahidu. I will be ushahidu. Shahid. All right? Mushahid. Mushahad and Mushahada. Uridu Mushahada Tashaka. Okay. Good. Um, here. Tafaddal. Tafaddal means, come on. Tafaddal has many meanings depending on the context. All right. Udkhul. Enter. Hatha babu shak. This is the door of the apartment. Hadihi shakkatun jamila. Huh? Hadihi shakkatun jamila. All right, so we have to stop here. Sanaqifu huna. Wa insha'Allah sa nastamiru fi fidhad al dars. Wasalna fi sofha sitin. We have stopped our waqafna fi sofha sitin. We have stopped at page. 60 all right وهذا اخر ما عندنا في درسنا اليوم this is the last what we have for today الى درسنا القادم ان شاء الله تعالى for our next class واخر دعوانا ان الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله شكير اذن